So I got some upgrades, right? Just so you know, I know a few of you were talking about wind noise and things like this. So I've got myself a lapel mic, which feeds straight into this camera. And I got a wide angle lens, which uh, uh, gives me an opportunity to show you all sorts of places. And I have to thank all of you guys on patreon.com forward slash the next gear who have given money so far. That's where this stuff has come from. That's what's after happening straight away is the upgrades are being there. So please, if you can give money, please head over to patreon.com for us the next gear and uh, give whatever you can there. But anyway, subscribe will be the next thing as well. For some reason, it's like, uh, look around on YouTube for some, whatever YouTube is doing right now, the views on everyone's channel is dropping on everybody's subscribers are dropping all sorts of things are going on i don't know what they've changed but they've changed something everybody's got a problem at the moment even the biggest channels in the world are being demonetized and all sorts of things so i don't know what's happening but it's also happened this channel so please subscribe if you're watching this if there's any chance you're doing that anyway let's have a look about the car so the inside of the kia rio is um well fairly like normal if i was to say it's a normal car it's about as average as you're going to get and it's kind of refreshing we're in the forest today i am sorry kia it's a bit dirty but it's fairly refreshing because it's like proper manual knobs and buttons and stuff you know like, like proper manual things they're quite nice and a proper lock and you know these are real buttons and the same for the stereo system they're real buttons on the side but actually this is actually a touchscreen as well so it's a bit of both uh, I don't have my phone connected at the moment. I do have, uh, I don't have media connected, but there's radio, and you can change the display there to display different things as well. You can show the clock. You want to change the time of the clock. It's very straightforward, like, and setup gives you this sort of stuff. You can change the sound and the Bluetooth connectivity and all that. Uh, system inside was really straightforward. Good little stereo. Tiny little speakers, which aren't brilliant, but they're all right. Um, this is a quite a nice texture. I know you can't really see the texture on the camera. There is actually a texture to this good box here which is uh, relatively small the owner's manual is probably the biggest owner's manual i have ever seen in a car it's gigantic uh huge barcodes in the front as well i am sorry i just tried it down there for a minute and then you have another actual little uh, folder inside that as well which has a different manual inside and then the actual bin itself which is basically just a bin in each of the doors you have another bin ignore that there's a, a drinks holder bin which is quite good i have to say and then you have lane keeping on this as well which this does not interfere with the steering it just goes beep as you cross the line you can auto headlights around this as well you see it there uh, not auto wipers as far as i can find it does have something that's fallen out of use in many other cars which is a sunglasses holder oh how i love them things i do love sunglasses holders they're very good it does give you a nice place to put things so back seat it doesn't have an armrest in the middle by the way uh, it is really a four seat. Those seat belts are too close together for another one, but there is a seat belt there if you've got someone small, slim. But you can see that seat, that car seat there basically takes up the whole lot in one shot. Quite a simple, after that's pretty simple. There is plenty of space in here, and I don't get me wrong, there's actually plenty of space behind those seats, and there's plenty of space in the front seat, particularly in the passenger seat, obviously. Um, and you do get a little armrest here in the middle with a cubby hole in the center of it. And there is, down here, there is another little convenient shelf for phones and a USB port here, aux port. And then beneath that, again, another sort of a stuff shelf. That's the name of the wide angle lens, by the way. Auto clip. Uh, that's the wide angle lenses that we're looking at right now. So overall, the Kia Rio is not a car you're going to love. It's a car that's very, very useful. It's just a standard car. That in its own way is sort of refreshing because there's a lot of tech in modern cars, a hell of a lot of buttons to press and things to do. And actually this has been reduced down in the Kia Rio, so it's it's nice and straightforward and nothing much complicated comes at you in any big way. You press a big square radio button for radio, you press a big square media button for media, and that's kind of it. Um, in that respect, I kind of like it because it's really that easy to use, but... I don't know if you're ever going to feel passionate about driving the car or want to drive the car. I think the engines are a little bit, it's, you know, there's not a lot of horsepower. In it. You don't really want that either. It's not that kind of car. It is just a five-door hatch. Um, and in some respects, that's pretty good. In other respects, for us kind of driver guys, I'm not sure you're ever going to get the good out of this because 
it, like the handling is wishy-washy and the, the, the engine isn't got a lot of power with it so you know so it's very hard to say yeah definitely go for this but it, it it's just a good honest go backwards kind of car and i like that that's hard to find these days anyway i see a horse and a cart coming down the hill god bless port leash until the next time please donate whatever you can on patreon.com forward slash the next gear and i will see you on the far side